Special Olympics are the world's largest program of sports training and athletic competition for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. Special Olympics currently serves over 6 million athletes and unified partners in 174 countries. And here in Florida, they serve about 44,400 athletes and unified partners who are training and competing year-round in sports of their choice. Coming up on Polk Place, we'll talk with the local organizers on their quest for volunteers and upcoming events. Make sure you stick around. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti, and with me today is one of our regulars, Mike Long, who's the Executive Director for Special Olympics in Polk County. Yep. County Director, so, I guess what they call it. Yeah. County Director, yes. yes. Okay. Yep. So, uh, welcome. Thank you. Again. Hey, great. <laughs> we love having you. <laughs> yeah. And you guys run such a great program, and you're all over the place. I mean, you're... No, I love being here. Actually, I, I was commenting, I think, on the last time we were here about things have slowed down a little bit. Well, that's about it. It's over. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> you got right. your breather in, yeah, and that's, yeah, that's done. Yeah, it's always started. Uh, one of the things I kind of wanted to start recapping about was um, generally, I, I never have really explained all the programs we have. We have like a young athletes program, mm -hmm. which you and I talked about once, and a little another one called Little Elites. This is kind of for your elementary school. Those are the ones because you guys don't start until eight, eight years old. Eight years of old, so, eight years of age officially. These are the little guys that are fun. But we have these two to fun. sevens, and then we even have like a graduate, a little bit of a graduate course for the eight to twelves, and then we kind of go into like a school roster type program where they can just stay within the school system, or if they want to do their medicals, then they get into the community based programs where we have all of our county, area, state games. But one of the programs I always kind of skip over because it's not part of all that kind of, is what we call our MATP, or uh, Motor Activity Training Program. Okay. And I just wanted to share with you recently, I've had to go to two events. Um, these are the people who have physical disabilities as well as intellectual disabilities. Okay. And uh, boy, you talk about why am I doing this job and you want to get really down to the, you know, mm -hmm. rubber meets the road type. Uh, un unbelievable. I mean, we had two events. It's Sunrise Community uh, is one of the organizations that, you know, embraces this. Uh, they're located in Lakeland, and actually they have a, another one down in Wachula. Okay. I, sli I slipped across the border, <laughs> you know, but it, uh, unbelievable. And, I mean, they, they do uh, a little bowling. They do, you know, they do these events, but it's mostly about working on their motor skills so that they can stretch and do better. Now, are these mostly wheelchair-bound? Oh, almost all. Okay. Or very seriously, like, you know, can barely walk. You know, okay. There's a lot of physical, dis yeah, but mostly wheelchair-bound. Okay. And, uh, but, I mean, unbelievable. And it was, we had two events. Both of them were like a half-a-day event. And I mean, they were out there doing the ring toss and uh, you know the cornhole game and, and and competing at that level. And I got the honor of giving them the medals and stuff. And oh, it was oh nice, really great. And so yeah, I, then I brought some pictures. I think we we'll see if you can hook, bring them. But it's just okay. yeah, it's really really a fantastic event. Um, <coughs> and we just finished having our um, county uh, games mm -hmm. for uh, golf. Okay. Uh, which basically about 26 athletes. Uh, did it over at the first tee in Lakeland. Yep. And uh, great location, great, you know, Sharon does a fantastic job out there. Yeah, they are good. Of, of running that. And, uh, but now it's kind of, that's been the, that's been the quiet time for me. Now it, July's starting up and let's see, what do we got? We've got, uh, I have to look at my notes. The 13th, we have stand up paddle board mm -hmm. at, at uh, Winter ha Sil Lake Silver in Winter Haven. Okay. We're going to have uh, about 60 athletes from eight different counties wow. for that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, it's more of an invitational. Okay. They, they come in for that, so that's going to be fantastic. Uh, then the next weekend, I believe it is the you know the 20th, we're going to have our area golf over at Shalimar Creek. Okay. And uh, we're bringing over. I always kid around on the show about we, you know, we bring over our area games are like we get to bring Hillsboro over and beat them up, but they actually have some pretty good golfers this time. So it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be t tough. It's going to be a, really a good competition. Exactly. Now, how many folks are you expecting coming out for that? Uh, about forty. Okay. Between the two counties, yeah, right. playing, and it's about fifty-fifty skills and. Um, 
course play, which is either nine hole or eighteen hole. And it's funny, you know, I, I think we joked about this one time earlier, but you know, it, it's almost for them to be able to do course play, they have to go two years of getting like thirty points in the skills area. Mm -hmm. And it's the skills area is interesting. I mean, you've got a, a short putt, a long putt, get so many points. You've got to do a chip over a. Uh, they usually put up a piece of. Uh, screening like a sign okay. and but you got to chip it over and get it on the green i mean I, I, as a guy who plays rarely but plays golf occasionally yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah i like this i'd like to say you know oh yeah well you know i wonder if i could get the 30 points to be able to get, go on the course i don't know that i've actually <laughs> ever played golf i've done golf yeah, yeah so yeah it, no. I don't know how competitive I ever was. Yeah, can, yeah, see if you could just pass the skills yeah. right now. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how I laugh about it. I go, I look at them watching them doing the skills and going, boy, I'm glad I didn't have to go through that just to be able to get on the course. Yeah. And then the next weekend, which is going to be the 27th, we've got Polk County Swim over at the uh, Robbie Gaines, Gaines right? Pool. Yep. Yep. And I am, swimming has gone berserk. The, f the year before I came on board, we had 20. Last year, we had 40. Just for Polk County alone, we're going to be right at about 120, five teams, in fact. Wow. Um, and, I mean, it just practice is crazy over there right now. We've got so many, you know, but, I mean, it's the kids loving it. And of course, with the temperature like it is, everybody's dying to get out there and go swimming. Yeah. But we should have about 120, and uh, it should be a really nice event. Okay. I'm hoping. So that's going to be our next big thing. And we need volunteers for stand-up paddleboard and for swimming for sure. And if you go to our website and click on the volunteer link, I've already got it set up to where you can actually register there and, okay. and do all of that. It's so well. a little bit easier now for that? Yeah, exactly. Now, with the, the swim meet, is this just local folks or? That's just Polk County, yeah. Just Polk County, yeah. wow. In August, we'll be going to Brandon for the area, and I have no idea. That's going to be probably almost 150, 200 for that one. But, yeah, Polk has definitely got a big swimming team this year. Fantastic. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm excited about, about It's neat that swimming's really taken off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, certain sports just really go. They're crazy for us. Basketball, bowling. Uh, but swimming now has add that to the checklist. Yeah. You know, it's, gone, it's really gone out of control. Well, it's so good for down here, too. I mean, oh, yeah. especially this time of year. Yeah. Put me in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I guess the final thing is uh, at the end of the month, I'm going to open up registration for our fall classic sports. Okay. And I want to poke the, kind of poke a plug in for this is uh, in the past they've always we, we kind of rearranged some things instead of doing cheerleading we're going to do only gymnastics this year mm -hmm. and so I'm trying to get the gymnastics because now you've got cheerleading in the, uh, the spring right, right. In the, yeah they call it the summer school well, really, yeah. yeah to me it's spring <laughs> too yeah but they're going to be uh, I'm really trying to get those cheerleading teams to do rhythmatic which is the one with the ribbons and okay. the dancing routines mm -hmm. not necessarily the tumbling and stuff and I think it's, that's going to be a good conversion and really great for those because a lot of the younger like to do the cheerleading. Well, this sure. is a perfect role into that. Uh, we're going to do the powerlifting, which, again, that's another one that's taking off. I'm waiting to see what the numbers are, but registration starts at the end of the, end of the month. But I've already – last year we had one team, and there's potentially three right now that look like they're going to start up. Okay. So that, a lot of people want to do powerlifting. And then, of course, we do softball and we do flag football at the same time. Mm -hmm. But we've added is a temporary try. It's not necessarily an, an official sport yet, but we're going to do pickleball, okay. which is the fastest growing sport in America. Now, you're going to have to explain pickleball to me. I'd like to. It's a, <laughs> I guess it's a lot like tennis. Okay. And I've heard two or three different versions of it. I, I only know of it from friends of mine, which are usually couples, mm -hmm. that play it, you know, organized around you know, around the state, mm -hmm. but I've heard it's either individual or team or play. like a couple's type and of it's, thing. And it's got a big, like a big hard, you know, racket and, okay. and the net's lower and you just go back and forth in it. But I, I've n actually not read the rules and got into it myself yet, but I'm definitely going to have to get to. Oh yeah. But yeah. So that should be really good. I okay. mean, I think that, that, I think it's a neat sport to add mm -hmm. because it's, it, it's one that you can really do. You know, tennis tends to be a little bit difficult sometimes. Granted, Hillsborough's got a great hit tennis program. Ours is struggling, but I think we can bring it up. Yeah. But if not, pickleball sure going to fit in the gap. Sure. For sure. And um, then, uh, again, we're going to start bowling early this year. It's too hot to do anything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, basketball should start up pretty quick as well. Okay. So be watching those in 
in early August, getting re registration for those as well. Sounds good. So that's kind of where we are right now and what's going on and everything else. All right. Well, I know you're going to be going around like crazy here again. So Here we go. I'm yeah. getting wound up. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming in and sharing all that with us. Thank and you. Look forward to getting the updates next time around. Love being here. Special Olympics Florida and Polk County invites you to come out to Lake Silver and Winter Haven for their stand-up paddleboard invitational featuring more than 60 athletes from eight different counties. Other upcoming events include area golf being held at Shalimar Creek in Lakeland. Around 40 athletes from Polk and Hillsboro with mostly skills competitions, but also course play for nine and 18 holes. They also have Polk County swimming competition held at the Rowdy Gaines Pool at the City of Winter Haven's Aquatic Center with over 100 athletes participating. There's always a need for volunteers at the three events especially with the stand-up paddle board and swimming. For more information on dates, times, and how you can give your time and efforts, you can give them a call at 863-873-8219 or look them up on the web at www.specialolympicspolk.org.